watching KBCW. We are Astound Broadband. Experience the number one rated internet for $25 all in with a two-year price line. Connect to a world of possibilities. Get fast, reliable internet at our best price ever. We are Astound Broadband. Switch today. Gun violence in America is simply at unacceptably high levels. Now, the most important stories from across the country and here at home. A deeper dive into the biggest stories impacting you and your community. What we do creates value. Your wallet and your money. It doesn't make sense that a woman's blouse costs more than a man's shirt. And tapping into the unending resource of hope. They support me, a deaf person. It makes me feel happy. I talk and say your news starts now. This is CBS News Bay Area Now on the CW. I'm Ann McAvick, and we are checking out more damage from this latest series of storms. Muddy mess shut down one southbound lane of 680 through Fairfield today. It's coming from the frontage road above the freeway, which literally ripped apart in the rain. That road, obviously, is going to be closed for a while. And if you can believe this, we're told the owner of this Tesla was actually able to drive away from this wild scene on 280 after a tree came crashing down on the car that was in Daly City. The storm also interrupted some VTA service in San Jose. Maintenance crews had to repair overhead electrical lines. Train service was stopped for a few hours on the green and blue lines between San Antonio and the convention center. Neighborhoods all over the Bay Area seeing hail today. This was in San Francisco's Russian Hill this evening. Almost looks like it's snowing. And that is a shot of hail falling in Saratoga this afternoon. You can hear how hard it's coming down. There was also some thunder in the area at around the same time. And we do finally have a bit of a break in the rain coming our way. Meteorologist Paul Hagen tracking our next chance of showers. Another wild day of Bay Area weather. This latest storm system brought us more heavy rain, small hail, gusty winds, and actual thunderstorms. There were some cloud to ground lightning strikes today, but the weather is trending in a calmer direction. As we head through the rest of tonight, the last of those showers are going to continue to quiet down. We should be drying out entirely just